You're gonna go in and start swiping. Ooh, another match. Great, this girl even looks better than the other one I met. So how about I set up a date with her as well? Guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm sorry, it's been two months, but I'm back. So today I am going to be going over the pros and cons of using dating apps in 2019. Is it worth it to use dating apps? So what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages to use dating apps? Before we get into this topic, today's video is sponsored by Manscaped.com. Thank you so much guys for sponsoring this video. Manscaped.com is the only man's brand which is dedicated to below the waist grooming and hygiene. Now when it comes to below the waist grooming, you always have to be very careful not to leave any nicks because we all know they really do hurt. In a second, I will feature all the products that's, that are in here, but what you have to know about this package, is this has everything you need to succeed on a date. So the Perfect Package 2.0 features the Lawnmower 2.0, my favorite thing from this package. When you're in a rush, you know, it's hard not to leave uh, nicks and snags, but with this trimmer, I can guarantee you, you won't leave any. It is a great trimmer, it is, it is waterproof. It has a ceramic head. I don't know about you guys, when I, when I groom down there, I don't want my trimmer to sound like a chainsaw. And this does not sound like it. Very quiet, amazing. It has a rechargeable battery, uh, which lasts for 60 minutes if it's fully charged. And the best thing about it is that you can charge it anywhere you like. If you have a computer, Great, you just literally plug it in. It's a USB charger and the other part goes in here and there you have it. Also, manscaped.com gives you the option to uh, get a replacement head delivered to you in every three months, which is great. The trimmer also comes with uh, two heads, which one is from three to six millimeters and the other one is nine to 12 millimeters. So you can adjust it to your desired length. So moving forward, I really do love this grooming kit. It has everything you need. It has a great nail clipper, which is amazing. Uh, I've been using this as well. It has tweezers as well and uh, some other uh, grooming tools. So the other product I wanna feature uh, is the uh, stainless blade, which is great. Uh, I don't clean shave, but for those of you guys who do clean shave, this is the perfect blade you can get on the market and it's so affordable. Uh, it also has a little mirror in here, which is great. This package, we also get a hair and body wash, which is needed always. Also, we have the crop pres preserver, which is an under the waist uh, deodorant. It might sound weird, but your balls need to be fresh. So this will take care of you, 100%. We have the crop reviver also in this package. The crop reviver is basically, it's an all natural spray, uh, a body toner and refresher. So it's perfect, you know, on the go, or you can put it in your gym bag. Last but not least, we have the Refine Cologne, Manscaped Cologne. Now this has a really great smell. I'm definitely gonna be using this. Manscaped also has a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can go risk free. I have some great news for you guys as well. Did you think I was gonna leave you hanging? I have a promo code for you, which guarantees 20% off if you go on manscaped.com by clicking the link below in the comments. Let's forget the best part. You guys will get free shipping as well on your order. And if you are subscribed to this channel, you will get this back for free. It comes with the order. All you have to do is go click the link down below and use the promo code MARCO20. I hope you guys will enjoy these products because I have been enjoying them. They're great. They're working out great and I'm loving the brand. Make sure you go check them out. Let's get into this video, how about that? As I mentioned, we are going to be talking about the pros and cons of online dating, the pros and cons of using dating apps in 2019. So we're gonna be looking at the benefits first. First of all, using dating apps can make your life a lot easier, it seems like. Um, you know, in this fast-paced society, most people do not have time to date, especially in New York, man. I can tell you that much. I live in New York, people just 
they have no time for anything. I don't want to generalize, but people my age just don't have time to date because they have so many things going on. Dating apps can make that easier for you. They're very fast. You know, you can literally get a match in seconds. They're also very convenient. You can literally start swiping on your phone from the comfort of your home. You're laying in bed or you're driving your car or you're watching a movie with your friends or anything. You can literally go on your phone, start swiping, and if you don't like what you see, close it out. So dating apps can also connect you with people from your local area. Um, let's say, for example, I live in New York City. There are so many people in my neighborhood where I can just go on my on the app and, and see who's closest to me, who's, you know, how far they are from me, and I can just connect with them easily. If I get a match, I message them, and everything happens so fast, man. Like, it's crazy these days. With that being said, dating apps are perfect for people who are super busy, who have no time for anything. They can connect with people a lot easier on online. It, it is also a great option for introvert people, for shy people. Uh, I'm not one of them, but I know some of my friends are like that. And uh, you know, it's great for them because they're they're too scared to approach a girl in person. Why not just go on a dating app and do it on there, you know, just get matches and start talking to them. You don't have to, It's there's no face-to-face -face conversation. So yeah, it's great, <laughs> but it's not great. I really don't think it's great, man, honestly. I am fed up with dating apps, like completely fed up with dating apps. It's not something I would recommend. Even though I did recommend a lot of dating apps in my previous videos, I still use them. They're good, but I use them as a game on my phone. What makes me say that? So I have been going out on a lot of dates um, and I have, I have experienced multiple different dates in the past couple of months, right? There, some of them were great, you know, some of them were, the, the girls I met were, were great, they were amazing, as I said it in my previous video as well, but they didn't last, and that might be a problem with me. You can also ask yourself a question, like, you know, what is your success rate? Like, when you go out with someone, like, how long can you keep it up for? How long can you stay with the person? Well, there are definitely stories where when, when a guy meets a, a girl or a girl meets a guy and they stick together, they stay together, you know, there's definitely those kind of stories. But I have heard a lot of stories that were not like that. And, and it's most likely that if you go on a dating app, if you go out with someone, you will not have the same result. And I'll tell you why not. In today's society, when you go on a dating app, um, there are just too many fucking options, bro. Too many options. It's like when you go go to the grocery store or when you go to the clothing store. Too many options. You don't know which one to get. You don't know which one to 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 stick with. You don't know which one to buy. When we're talking about clothes and groceries, it's the same exact thing with dating these days. It has come down to this. Unfortunately, I I really wish it wasn't like this. But it is like that. You go on these apps and, and you just start swiping. And there's so many gorgeous girls. Keep swiping, keep swiping. Oh, I got a match. Great, I'm gonna talk to this girl. So you start talking to this girl. You might have some common interest. You might have some common topics you can talk about. You might, you might as well take them out on a date. First date, great. The first date goes well, let's say. You go on the dating app again. Because why not? It's on your phone, right? Like, it's it's always there. So, because you're bored, you're gonna go in and start swiping. Poof, another match. Great, this girl even looks better than the other one I met. So, how about I set up a date with her as well? Okay, you set up a date with her. You go on that date. Let's say it goes well, or it doesn't go well. If it doesn't go well, you have, you have the excuse to go on the dating app again and start swiping again. It's a circle that never stops. The only way you can stop this circle is if you find the right person. But in my opinion, dating apps will not get you the right girl. It's just my personal opinion. Also, especially for girls, you are prone to harassment. You know, there's so many weirdos online. Like, you wanna avoid that. You don't want anyone to text you 3 a.m. in the morning, especially don't give out your numbers on these dating apps. Only if you really are sure about the guy that you're talking to. And you don't want anyone to harass you or stalk you in the worst case scenario. Also, dating apps make everything so much less intimate. It's not a true connection. If you meet someone on a dating app, you're gonna look at them first and judge them by the way they look. Everyone does that. Don't tell me you don't do that. Especially because I said it, I have too many options. So you're gonna see, you know, see this girl. 
great. She looks amazing. You know, I'm, I'm gonna wanna go out with her. So you go out with her. What if she doesn't look the way that she actually looked online? She actually looked on Instagram. It happened to me so many times. You go out with them the first time and it's like going out with a completely different person. It's not her. It's not her pictures. Why? Because there's so much editing involved, so much makeup. I love natural beauty. Girls, please take my advice. Don't put too much makeup on and please do not use too many filters on your pictures. You're fooling yourself and you're fooling us too, guys. Because when we go out with you, we won't see the same person. You know what I'm trying to say? So it's, it's just don't do that, man. Like you are beautiful the way you are. You don't have to cover yourself with too much makeup. A little makeup is good, I'm not gonna lie, but don't change your the features. Like that makes no sense. And it makes it shallow because you know, it's uh, everyone just wants to get over the date. Just, you know, we go on a date, you you wanna get over it. You might find a girl or a guy that, that you, you can really get along with, which is great. It's amazing. I have, it happened to me before, but it didn't last. And the reason why it didn't last was because uh, they were just, they were switching up, you know, she, she switches up or you switch up or it, it, it is a circle as I said it too. The only way to get out of it is if you find someone that you love. But the chances you'll find someone on dating app and that you can fall in love with are very low. They're very low. I really do hope though that dating apps do work out for you because I still have hope in dating apps just because I don't live directly in the city. So that's the best way for me to meet girls. But when you meet a girl, in your friend groups or when you meet a girl outside in a bar it's so much more intimate and it's so much more beautiful just to talk to someone and to not judge them by what by the way they look online just go do that man instead of you know swiping it's a game man it really it really is a game if you look at it as a game then you won't get hurt when someone doesn't you know message you back i know that it feels good when you get a match you know it boosts your ego uh, which is great you know you can collect the matches a lot of people probably do collect those matches and they have like a th like 300 matches and they have never met any of those girls on there look yo bro yo look 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 i have 300 matches cool great but what the f are you gonna do with those matches like you know they're gonna fade away bro they're gonna disappear as soon as tinder gets deleted or whatever so like don't get your hopes up because you have 300 matches man go out there and make connections make legit intimate relationships man you're better off with that i'm gonna leave you guys with that note uh thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it i'm gonna try to upload more from now on and uh, i really hope that that you guys get something out of this video um i i always do when i when you watch me i i want to help you and that's why i'm asking you always on my instagram which is down below in the description you guys can follow me on there um, i'm always asking you what you want to see next i have a lot of topics to talk about but make sure please to to just make, leave suggestions in the comments whatever you want to see next i love you and um good luck with dating i really hope it works out for you <laughs> take it easy bye bye